Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up, divas and divos? So your girl is back for another video. I hope you guys are all doing well out there in YouTube land. We are all kind of basically quarantined into our homes. For me, this is nothing because I don't really go out that much anyway, unless I have to go like to bring the kids to school and like to Walmart, the Dollar Tree. I don't really go to many places. I don't really have no friends. So the social distancing thing, I've been done, did that. Staying indoors. I've been done did that too. I know like it's really bothering a lot of people. So I just want to tell you guys, hang in there, have patience. We are definitely going to get through this. I have faith in God. So just be patient, you know what I'm saying? And we will get through this. You know, we have to look out for one another. There are people out there with low immune systems and there are some with really good immune systems. Either way, we just definitely don't want to spread this. So let's just all just bunker down and just enjoy one another. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really going to speak on it too much. I just want you guys all to know that I love you guys. Make sure you cover up, strap up, mask up, all that good stuff, okay? Listen, they say six feet, but a girl like me, like, listen, you could do 12 because I really don't want you too close to me. So on that note, let's get into this video. I have already worked with this company. This is probably like the third time, uno, dos, tres, and it is for giving hair, okay? Or excuse me, her giving hair. It is her giving hair. Did I just say for giving hair? Like, you can forgive me if my hair look a mess. Either way, we just gonna get through this. So her giving hair has sent me another one of their wigs. This is a closure wig. As you guys know, her giving hair more or less caters to textured hairstyle so if you're looking for something that is kinky 3c 4c a b c d then you can check them out because they do have a lot of units mostly mainly all of their units i would say like 95 percent is just textured units you can get a u part you can get a lace front you can get a full lace girl you can get a 360 girl you can even get a closure wig so i got a closure wig because this one has a bang I can't really remember the name of it, but I'll definitely link it below. And let me tell you guys, I had like not really some issues with it, but a girl is not too familiar with very, very textured hair and how to care for it too much. So I had to wash this wig three times. Okay, this is the third or the, no, it was four. So the fourth time I decided to do the twist in it like this. Because I just felt like I have seen people on YouTube do this with their own natural curly hair as well as on a wig. So a girl is like, please let this work out in my favor. I did not bleach it because it is a closure wig and it does have a bang. So I just didn't bleach it. I just was washing it a lot. And this is her. This is how she looks. She looks she look real cute right now, right? She's like, my twin. For sure, we twins. Snap a picture, okay, because it's the last time you're going to see me and my twin like this. So I'm going to just get into this video before I keep rambling on too much. I do have a bottle of some Orchid Oil by um, OGX, which I'm going to spray so that way it doesn't dry out. It's really for color protectant, but, you know, like UV sun rays for some filters. But it all works the same. It's oil in your hair. It smells really good. It works. Listen, I got a whole bunch of stuff in my hair product collection that I don't use, so why not try and use it right now, okay? I'm not even going to have to use any glue or hairspray or anything like that because it's a closure wig, and it has a bang. Like, girl, come on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and by the way, let's see how the wig comes when you get or purchase a wig from Her Given Hair. When you receive your wig from Her Given Hair, you will receive it in their black standard box, which will say Her Given Hair. You'll also receive the amenities such as a black elastic band, which you can sew into the unit if you wish to. Along with that, some wig combs. Along with that as well, some wig clips. You'll also receive one of their sleeves that will tell you which unit you have purchased. The one that I have is proud of your coily unit. And this unit is a 3C to 4A closure unit. In the box, there will also be an instruction pamphlet, which will also tell you how to care for the wig. 
unit that I have is 14 inches in length and is a 4x4 closure wig. As stated, the hair is between a 3C to 4A texture. You will need to wash the hair once you receive it. This will enable a soft, more moist texture and curl pattern. There will also be a black elastic band sewn into the cap. This elastic band will allow you to adjust it. This is the 4x4 closure, which has not been bleached. If you do prefer to bleach it, you may do so. I left mine unbleached as I was just going to wear it as a bang. I also wanted to point out that they have an amazing box. It does slide open just like a dresser drawer and you can store your wig in here and also store other items. So, let's do this. I'm ready. I'm hoping that she's going to come out looking really cute. The combs on the side. It also has a black elastic band in it where you can adjust and the comb in the nape area. So we're going to put this extra tight. Just really want it extra tight. Hey you guys, so let's try this out. So I slipped my edges down with some of the got to be hair putty. I think it's called um, mesmerizing putty. Something like that. All right guys, so this is going to be an easy wig to put on because it's a closure wig and it has a bang. So you don't even have to worry about it blending in with your hairline. You didn't even have to worry about bleaching it. But if you're not like the hugest fan of be um, bangs or whatever, then go ahead and bleach it and you can just definitely style it a different way. That's what's also cool about the wig. You don't really have to wear it with a bang if you don't prefer to. But I didn't bleach it, so I'm definitely going to just keep the bang because I wanted to try it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and untwist these, you know, twists. I wish I really would have put more bigger twists than the small ones, but I'm going to give it another try and rewash the wig and just put bigger twists so that way I can see how tight the curls come out. But I'm really concerned of what product to put in the hair once I have conditioned it. Now to me, the bigger twists look much better untwisted versus the smaller ones, but I guess it's just your preference. And the wig is comfortable. I did not put any of the combs in. I just let them in the wig. I did not attach them to my own natural hair. So I'm really kind of wondering how to go ahead and tame this unit because it is a lot of hair, it is very full, but it just depends on the product you use and how you style her. But overall, I think the hair texture is really pretty. I do like the curls. I just got to figure out how to make it work for me. I'm not used to a lot of hair like this. So this was a lot of challenge for me, like, I know that's not proper English, but let's just be for real. This was a lot of challenge for me. That smells amazing. It smells so good. And I wanted to use an oil so that way they didn't get all dried out, you know, as I was picking through it. So the first thing that I had realized and noticed that the bigger the twist, the less tight it is. So... I should have just kept them that one big size that I started off with instead of breaking them down a little bit. This is like very full. This is a lot of hair. Like I'm not really sure how I would style this like on a normal day basis. This would not be an average everyday wig for me. But for those who already are very familiar and can upkeep hair texture like this, then you go girl because even my daughters, their hair is the same texture. 
So I don't do their hair. I get it done for them because, listen, let me tell y'all this. I mean, I could do some things, but damaging hair, I really don't want to do. And I've already had that trial and error with their hair. So I just leave it up to one particular person to do their hair for me. For me, this is like a learning experience of what type of products you can put on this texture hair. But overall, like it's cute. You just have to know how to rock it. Like I see some girls on YouTube, on Pinterest, on just anywhere, okay, in general, in life, social media, that have hairstyles like this. Why do they always look so freaking beautiful? And then when I try it on myself, it's like, April, you just don't look good with that. That's how I be feeling. Now, I like it really full. Like, for me, it has to be, like, bigger. I have a wig that I made very similar to this, but the hair is not so textured. So it's curly, but it's not as textured as this one. I don't think it is, but I love it. And it's the same volume and the same length, but the hair is probably, like, I would say two letters down, maybe. Like, if it's a C, then it would probably be, like, an A. You know what I'm saying? I had to do a lot of different things to this just to make it come out the way that I wanted it to. And now I know for the next go round, I'll definitely put probably like six big twists and that's it. And let's see how that comes out. So I'll definitely give you guys an update. I just want it to be tamed a little bit more here on the sides, like, like this, like, you know, like, like this, this is how I want it to be, but not so much volume. You know what I'm saying? So I know you girls out there that's watching are very familiar with this type of texture hair. And I know you guys got some tips and tricks for your girls. So that's what the comment section is for. What do you suggest I do? What do you suggest I use in here? I told you guys, I got a whole skew, whole mess load of hair products, hair care products that I can use. I'm just really not sure what to use. So I would love some comments and I would love some tips, tricks, advice on how I can style this and make it more manageable for me the way that I would like to wear it. Because I like the curls, I like the curls in it and I love a nice full wig, but I just wanna be able to, you know, tame it down a little bit and make it not so tight you know what i'm saying but like like i said i like it a little bit more tamed like this right here like i'm smushing it together okay but for the most part her given hair they have some really bomb wigs i just did a video for them probably like two months ago and that one was also textured like this you know what would look really nice in this hair color girl some highlights okay if i had more of a neck I know I would look cute with this big hair, but I ain't got that much of a neck at to begin with. So, and especially if I gain weight, then girl, it's like my head is sitting on my chest. Now, if they had like neck surgery, uh, that I would be the first one, okay? Because I, I, I always talk about I need more neck. Check them out. I'll leave all of the information down below for you guys. Let me know what you think, all your tips and tricks and advice, and I will see you guys on the next one. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe on the denim. I put the records on them. Big mans can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.